What's up? Can you all hear me? Corey, I guess, I guess first off, offense found a rhythm really early. Um, I don't know if you guys had an inkling that, that you were going to have that kind of success today, but how quickly did you guys know that it was going to be your day in the passing game? Um, I, I'm not sure if, if, if we knew exactly, you know, who day it was going to be. Uh, we knew we had to get points on the, on the board very, very early in the game. Um, you know, we, 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 had a, we had a goal of hitting, you know, 21, 21 points in the first half. Uh, but we knew we had to score every time we touched the ball. And, um, you know, we made it happen. With that, with you guys knowing that you had to score early and often, when you saw the defense kind of going out there and not having the best of days, was there any sense of worry that, you know, if you guys didn't score once it was over? Or what was your mindset every single time you guys kind of got the ball back with a score up or even tied? We just knew we had to, you know, keep a lead um, every time we had to go down and score so we can we can keep a lead, you know. Um, you know, their offense is, is very, very hard to, you know, control. So, you know, every time we touched the ball, we knew that we had to get down there and score score points. Corey, what was the feeling on the sideline for an offense during that game? You know, we just we just stuck to the plan. We never got ahead of ourselves. Um, you know, we, we played ball the same way. We stayed we stayed level headed. Um, you know, we just knew we had to make plays. You know, guys were excited to make plays and ready to be out there. Uh, but you know, we just we just stayed the same. You know, not not too high, not too low. What's the feeling for you when you've had a good game and made some plays, and Keyshawn gets out there and takes a seventy-five yarder on the first play of a drive? Yeah, that's exciting. You know, my boy Key uh, right here about to be next, but um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him. You know, he's definitely gonna get his get his chance. You know, to ball out. Um, he, he's always ready, always staying ready. Um, works really hard. Uh, you know, that's my guy, so I'm really excited for him. Corey, how fun is that to be a part of when you guys are, you know, putting up the numbers that you are, those big touchdowns that you are? I mean, that's got to be fun to be out there playing the way y'all are playing today. All right, yeah, it's a great feeling. It's fun, always fun, you know, when you put up 70 points. Um, you know, it's just it's just a great feeling, uh, offense. You know, we really feel confident, more confident than we ever have. Uh, we moved the ball really, really well today, and, you know, it's exciting. Ja'Cory, uh, talking about complacency the last couple of weeks, uh, how do you guys not have a letdown effect from week to week or even going into next week after having a game where you caught almost, you guys almost caught up 500 yards? Um, you know, we just we just always stick to the plan. You know, we always know what we got to achieve or, you know, what, what's our goal for the week. Um, you know, we, we never, like I said, never get too high, never get too low. But, you know, we just always stick to the plan and, and what we know and we do what we do. So, Jacor, can you can you kind of take us through your reaction to Travion's play um, that, that he kind of jumps that pass and becomes like a really big play in the game? Yeah, for sure. That was that was a really big play. You know, we knew they was going to end up coming with a fake somewhere. I was right there. I was looking directly at him and he read it well, uh, picked it off. I'm running down the sideline with him to the to the type to the end zone. And that was just a good feeling, you know, get up by 14 right there. Um, that was a glad trick for us. Coach Clawson mentioned, you know, the experience you guys have had in games like this. Um, just coming off the, an off week where you had back-to-back -back games that were, were full games, full 60 minutes uh, and extra, how, how helpful is that when you play in a game like this? Um, you, know, you, you just expect, you know, going into the game, you always tell us, you know, whatever – here on, you know, it's going to be a fourth quarter game. We're going to have to battle all four quarters, you know, all 60 minutes. Um, you know, it's just, it's just something that we, that's in, that's in our blood uh, here at Wake. Um, you know, it's, it's exciting that we, we know we're going to get full effort from everyone, both sides of the ball, defense, offense, and also special teams. You know, it's just going to be a battle from here on out, and then just got to take it from there. Awesome. Thank you, Ja'Cory. Thank you.
All right, everyone, we have Keyshawn Williams here. Hey, Keyshawn, just uh, walk us through your, your touchdown reception. Uh, how did it feel? Uh, when did you realize you were that open? And and what did it feel to kind of break away and, and get across the end zone? Uh, it, was, it was a great feeling. I know I could have a positive impact on the game in that way. Uh, I really wanted to beat him deep, but he got out, so I broke in. You know, I knew I couldn't get caught. You know, wait, get every opportunity, got to make the most of it. So I know that had to be six. Keyshawn, what are some of the things you do during a game to kind of keep yourself ready? Because I know you're not in there for the for the bulk of the snaps, but every time you get in there, it seems like you make a play offensively. Uh, I just try to keep a positive mindset, knowing that you know, so I'm not gonna get a lot of plays, make the most of what I get. And also cheering on my teammates, such as Quarry, A.T., Taylor, D. Stu, cheering all of them on, keeps me in the game, and just cheering on even the defense making big plays, you know, just keeps me in the game, keeps motivated, just knowing to stay ready. Keyshawn, can you just kind of you know, give us a sense of, like, the, the fun factor of a game like this, especially when you see Sam connect on – you know, two 75-yard passes in that third quarter when everything was really taken off? No, it's, it's fun. You got to enjoy it when the offense is clicking like that. You know, everything's just going right for the most part. You know, it's, it's just something special to be a part of, and I was just happy I could have a factor in that. Anything else? Uh, no, I appreciate your time and want to speak to me as well. Thank you, Keyshawn. Thanks, Keith. Uh, and that play, that was just, just me trying to make a play. I was losing pretty much cover zero. I had my man saw it out of the corner of my eye. I really can't even really explain. I can't even believe I made the play. I let my whole man go. But I was in the right position at the right time. That's, I really can't, can't say too much about it. I'm just glad I made the play. I was in the right position. After you make the catch, Craig. did you did you see green grass in front of you, or did you have some? I mean, it looked like you were getting pretty tired toward the end of that. Did you know you were making it to the end zone? I was hoping I made it in the end zone. I I was already kind of getting a little winded, and then after that play, I was I was gas. I saw green grass, and I just I just I just took it. I mean, I saw some people coming to block, help block. I saw some other people, and I was just trying to be line for the end zone. Travion, you Great. made up a lot of ground just to get into position to make that play. Was there ever an inclination just to try to make a play on the on the on the receiver as opposed to making a play on the ball? Or were you thinking ball the whole time? I saw I saw ball. I didn't even see the, the receiver. I saw the ball in the air and I went for it. Travion, can you walk us through a bit of the demeanor on the sideline the entire day? Um, was it just frustration? Was it just people tired? Like, what was going on on the sidelines when it just felt like you guys couldn't get off the field again and again? We were just trying to figure out what's going on, what's not working, what's going wrong, trying to fix it. Every every series after when we came off the field, we was constantly correcting stuff, figuring out what ways we can – maneuver to put ourselves in a better position to make plays. And I mean, their offense is just great running that, that offense. Trey, you were smiling when you first talk, started talking about that pick six. What does that mean for you, man, to, to be able to contribute to this win and the 70 points that Wake was able to put up today? I mean, that was my first time being in the end zone, like scoring since I've been here. I've been here six years. That was my first touchdown. So I was kind of kind of low-key emotional, I, not crying, but I was just very, like, happy by myself. But then again, I knew we still had a long game to go. So I couldn't couldn't really celebrate like I, like I wanted to. But I know that possessions count, and being able to score on the defensive side is going to basically be the deciding factor in this game. <clears throat> Anything else? Well, thank you, Travion. Sam, can you tilt it down just a little bit more? Yeah, I got you.
Man, that's perfect. What's your thoughts on the 70 points today, man, in your efficient day? Uh, I mean, it's just everybody around us. You know, we, we Coach R put up a, a great game plan, and we kind of – they did what we thought they were going to do. Um, so that was, you know, nice. It's always a great feeling, you know, the – the adjustments that we kind of made going into this week and we had two weeks to prep. So we kind of had a lot of different game plans, you know, set. Um, but, you know, Coach R put us in great spots and um, guys made plays and, you know, you make the throws and it, it works like that. And that's how this offense is uh, supposed to do. And I mean, it's very fun. And but again, it's, you know, we're seven and oh, and we got we won't, that wasn't the goal of the season. It's, you know, it's to, to do bigger things. And so we're, we're excited for the next challenge. Sam, it looked pretty easy out there for you today, 23 for 29. But the last three games really haven't been as easy. They've been back and forth, back and forth. How tiring are those games are for you and just you and the team? And how do you recover from that from week to week? I mean, it's, you know, every week's a one-week season. And we just, you know, we got to come out and execute every week. So, um, I mean, I think it's – they're all the same. But, you know, some you feel a little bit worse than others. Um, you know, we're defense pretty banged up after that kind of game. And, uh, you know, Offensively, you know, we have bumps and bruises here and there, but uh, again, it's just every week's a new season and every week we've got to approach the same way. Sam, just how much pressure are you feeling on the offensive side of the ball when it looks there for a while that you almost need to score on every possession to come out on top of this in this one? Uh, we knew we knew going into the game that that's what we had to do. So it's not, you know, pressure probably isn't the word. You know, that's, that's your goal as an offense. I don't, I think going out there and, you know, putting your, Putting your goals lower than that would, you know, just do you a disservice. So um, we're just, you know, we we executed and, and that's what we can do and we have the capability to do, you know, every drive. Okay. Anything All right. else? All right, thanks, guys. That'll wrap us up for today, and uh, we'll see you guys next week.